Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Look, today we're just going to be making a little um, tiling star design in Inkscape using the clip set feature and using the transform keys to um, move the shapes around our page. Okay, so this is what we're going to be creating. We're going to be creating the uh, single square design um, that we can use to tile. Now, obviously, instead of stars, you could import images. Um, graphics and things that you have downloaded from the internet so sites like Creative Fabrica or Creative Market or anywhere else that you get your um, images from just be careful if you're going to be uploading those to pod that you're going to need the correct license for that uh, pods print on demand for those of you that don't um, aren't here for a print on demand side and might be here for fabric um, Creative Fabrica is a fantastic site and I use it every single day. Um, I am an affiliate so if you sign up with the link down below I do get a kickback but please check it out it's a fantastic site. Alrighty so it's quite an easy little process this will only be um, uh, a few minutes worth of video. If you haven't checked out my last video uh, looking at what size and things you might need to make your document dealing with DPI um, and pixels Inkscape is a little bit of a tricky program if you are trying to work in pixels as your measurement and working in 300 dpi. It kind of doesn't quite work. Your program seems to think it wants to work in 96 dpi. So we're going to be working in inches today because that makes it nice and easy. So we're just going to go File and uh, Document Properties and we're going to make sure our units are set in inches and we're going to make a 12 inch square paper which is about you know normal for a lot of these um, these tiling designs now obviously I have uh, already done that oh let's just make a yeah we'll just move that out of the way so we've already made our uh, square 12 inches if you pop over here you'll notice where are we um, export PNG image that our page is um, uh, 12 inches and we have uh, 3,600 pixels at 300 dpi um, but we're going to try not to work in pixels because it's a bit painful so what we're going to do is use the square um, button over on the left hand side there and we are going to create a, um, a square we're going to use up here we're going to change this measurement to inches and we're going to set that to 12 and 12 push enter and then to align that so it's bang smack in the middle of the page not that we need to because we're going to be using select but it's fine um, we're just going to use those buttons there the align buttons align in the center vertically and horizontally and if we click on that we're just going to change the color of the square as well and I'll just make this a little bit bigger for you guys I'll just get these out of the way um, so we don't need that Okay, so you're just using the plus and minus keys on my keyboard there to uh, zoom in and out. You can also use down in the bottom um, uh, right hand corner there. And just for this, we're going to be using this, the star function. And I'm just going to change my color, click down the bottom down here. And quite simply, we are just going to pop in here some, um, we're going to pop in some stars. So there we go. I'm purposely leaving down here blank so I can show you how to go back and um, and sort this out and then if you click on the, the key down here it's going to change whatever color is selected so if you don't want that control Z uh, just click back onto the um, the mouse button before you um, or, or click off your page here like this before you reselect star uh, to change the color or you can change it afterwards it's not a problem and we're just gonna pop in a few extra little stars um, in here you just have to pay a little bit of attention uh, because whatever is off one side of the page so off on the right hand side of your square is going to have to come back over onto this side so it's just a little bit of a visual play around to make sure you've got enough room uh, so your objects are not going um, are not going to not going to overlap uh, too much there and I'm just gonna get one more in the darker color um, just down off the bottom of the page uh, just there let's do that or you can also control C and control V and you can also control D which is duplicate uh, so we might try that control D and then you can slide um, that around to wherever you want it and I'm just going to we'll change that to the darker darker color for the moment 
maybe we'll pop that there if it's whinging and it's not letting you put it exactly where you want because it wants to snap to corners which it does like to do you can use the arrow keys to move um, move your little object around where you want it same here it probably is going to want to snap to some of those other stars so let's do that okay so we think that's that's looking like it's a good start for the design what we're going to do next is we need to transform all these shapes um, to the opposite side so whatever's up here has to come down here up here down there and down there up to there and um, vice versa across the the page there so we're going to go into the transform keys now this page is 12 inches um, it's probably quite a good idea to you can, you can lock that on a layer if you wanted to um, let's not bother about that I was going to do that uh, if you want to you can put your background on one layer lock it and then put all your stars on the next layer maybe I'll do that in another another video just means you can't accidentally drag around your page um, while you're working that's okay all right so we're going to uh, start with this star here and we want to go um, vertically and horizontally I'm go negative because we're going that away um, 12 12 inches so we're going to go control D on the star and just hit apply so it's duplicated it control D and we've moved it um, horizontally negative 12 um, you know it's negative because it's the opposite direction from the little arrow that's here and it's moved it over to there while you're there check to make sure there's nothing else that needs to be um, moved over that way it's just a little bit easy you can see here they're quite close together but that's okay this is just a um, an example if you're not happy with that I'll show you what we can do here we'll just delete that one so if you're not happy with that you delete it and then you can um, move that about off your page now because that's now off the edge there we don't need to duplicate it over the other side so that's there and there's nothing else on this side that's going to cause a problem but we do have one here that's going to cause a problem um, and that is going the other way so we're just going to go like that and we're going to go Control d and hit apply and it's going to pop it over that way there now let's deal with the ones that are up the top so we need to make sure that's back at zero and vertically it's going the same direction so you want to go down 12 like that uh, control D and apply same here with this one uh, control D and apply and oh look we've got a little bit of a um, disconnect there so what we're going to do is we're just going to move this one out the way which is good because that means we don't then need to um, put that one up onto the other side so just go around and make sure whatever's up here is down here up here is down here over there over there over there and over there and also make sure you do not move any of these stars um, uh, out of the way when you are doing this so if you move this side down a little bit uh, you're going to end up with it not matching over on the other side so if you end up with any errors that's probably where your error is okay then nice and easily what we're going to be doing now we'll just create another square um, click on it and we can go 12 by 12 just like that and we're going to make sure it's at the top so just hit the top here we're going to pop this over corner to corner just like this I'm just going to zoom out so you can see this a little bit um, a little bit easier we're going to select everything that is here and we are going to go to um, object clip and set and there we have our um, tiling tiling design if you select everything and uh, group it you're going to make it a little bit easier to work with for this next little bit you just hit Control D on the whole item go to here Control D uh, Control D and we have now made our little pattern and I've decided that um, after we've done that little that little uh, section that this area here is looking a little bit um, a little bit bare so I am going to grab another star oops you do we'll just grab uh, grab this we'll change this oops let's control Z that that's not what you want to do it's because I had the um, background selected when I hit a color it's just changed it for me and I want to put this little star right here in the center now technically that's just over this page so it's just coming in here and it's just touching um, just up here so we're going to have to go through and um, 
uh, redo that process. So here we have this. We're going to move that horizontally um, 12 inches, oops, negative, negative 12 inches. So we'll control D and control D and apply that. That's what happens if you do it um, with, with 12 and 12. It ends up putting it somewhere really crazy. So we've gone that way and we also want to um, control D and move that uh, negative negative 12 on the vertical axis as well so control D and apply so there we go so now we've got um, this square which needed to touch over on this side and also up the top and we're just going to repeat that process with creating a square sometimes I just uh, create one and duplicate it for doing all of these uh, pop that there make sure it's at the top of your design otherwise it will not work and we're going to go object uh, clip set and there we have that uh, I will regroup those there we have it and then we can go control D let's do control D control D there we go. Ignore those little white lines and that the line there that comes up in Inkscape. You can change that. Oh, that's not actually the one that was there. And there we have that little gap that is slightly, um, slightly better filled in. In um, let's just do it this way. That little white gap won't show when we export it because that's just the. Um, the page borders and things I'll show you um, actually how we can we can do that so uh, I haven't moved this off the page which is fine we just need to go align and distribute and put that in the center it only matters if you're wanting to export it by the page but I normally um, export by um, selection so we'll do that so let's go to export PNG you need to make sure it's in 300 dpi if it's at um, 96 dpi still you're going to end up with quality issues on pretty much anything that you want to print that on unless it's a uh, background for a website or something like that and then you're going to be okay so I normally hit selection because I can see very easily where I am um, you can export page because we are centered in the center of the page that will work but I'm just I just normally export selection we want to go export as I'm just going to put this in my test folder I'm going to call it test I could learn how to spell squares that would be good um, it's a PNG it always comes up as a um, PNG we're going to hit save and we also need to hit export don't forget that little step um, if you hit anything else up here when you're exporting it's going to come out crazy so if I'll just show you if I hit drawing and um, I'll hit um, that is the I oh know that's drawing test and save and export I'll show you what that's going to do as well as we go through it's gonna take ages because it's a much bigger crazy file okay so here we are um, I just in our web browser you just type in toils tile tester and click on it then it's going to come up with its gray screen and you're going eh. um, all you need to do is we need to drag and drop our um, PNG file onto the screen and you'll see how it tiles so All right, so here we are. Just drag and drop my um, the file onto the screen there. Um, you can zoom out to see what that looks like. Don't think that the percentages is the actual size of it. It's not at all. Um, you'll need to use your measurements that you've got off Inkscape for the actual measurements. And there is our design. Obviously, we could have maybe changed that up a little bit and put some of those stars in the slightly better positions. But you can see here there is no errors in the. Um, in the tiling so you can see that this little border is where your actual square is and you can see there's no um, no bits that have fallen off the sides of that anyway so that is how you use um, Inkscape to create a, a tiling repeat pattern design uh, from scratch now if I'm just going to pull in here the where is it here we are so that's what happens when you don't 
this is what happens when you don't hit the right button. You can see how it's pulled in all these little bits of working designs that were on my um, whoopsie do that were on my Inkscape page. So it's pulled in all of these, this random star, and it's just kind of exported that whole lot, which is obviously not what we want. So you need to make sure instead of hitting drawing, you either have hit selection and you've got your square or you're working exactly on your page and you export through to page. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions um, or anything, do let me know. It's a nice and easy little wee one to use and it works perfectly well if you are importing, um, say, some designs. Let's just go and have a have a quick look here so say you were importing these little um, designs here and you wanted to make yours um, have you know ice creams or something on your page you could very easily do that anyway thanks for watching and um, see you in the next video bye